how to make the best course ever in Mario Maker. So first of all, you want to go to the styles. You just press the arrow buttons on your Joy-Cons. These are the four game styles. I'm currently in Super Mario Brothers. And then you can switch to a style Super Mario Brothers 3, New Super Mario Brothers U, Super Mario World, and the last and final one, this is Super Mario 3D World. And so you want to include Mario's trail so for if things don't work out. So let's say you wanted to add a jump and then it's too far away. You can see what Mario does and then you can add where Mario fell some blocks. So then when you come to play it, there we go. Mario made it onto the platform safely. I forgot to mention the course themes. I'm currently on ground, but there's sky, there's underground, there's forest, which includes the water level. You can change it, but I'm not going to. There's underwater. You basically swim non-stop. There's also ghost house. There's desert. There's airship the snow theme and there's castle and the theme I'll use is Super Mario Brothers 3 next you need to put it four blocks wide just like I've done it then you ZL multi grab then you copy and then you keep copying that one bit out all the way through the level you want to keep grabbing chunks because you can modify it later but so that you don't have to do it manually this is a great tip for if you want to build your levels i'm currently doing it but if you don't want to go all the way to the start you can just multi grab just four blocks wide and four blocks down or how, how high the height is, then you wanna just copy and copy until it basically reaches the goal. But you can extend the goal if you like, and that's what I usually do in my Mario Maker levels. I keep getting notifications that people play my levels, and this is a great tip if you want that to happen to you. And now you can edit the ground if you want any holes I'm gonna add a for a pipe now the cool thing about pipes is you can extend them and so I'm gonna play and when you go up but I'm gonna make it more spacious there we go but doesn't this area just look boring and plain? If you don't want it to be boring and plain, then I suggest you add oh, some sort of thing like that, what I'm doing. You could add like, you can add anything. But what I'm going to do is I'm gonna make this simple staircase, which leads to a slide. like this but players want to know what's at the top so that's when hidden paths come in and you can make it looks like look like it's an ordinary block with some sort of power up in it but all it is but it is actually a vine if i can find it there we go a vine and with this vine it, it's really tall but the camera can't handle ha the tallness 
So that's when hidden paths come in hand. When you're make when you're trying to jump using a hidden block, you can use but this only actually really works. This only works in the new Super Mario Brothers U style. And that's the one I'll be using. With the ground pound function. When you hit it, you can uncover a hidden path to maybe like a new area. You can add some hidden blocks. But this is where the camera will stop scrolling. If you try and do this, well, you need it to make it at least two blocks per block, like this. So you have to do this, but it could get a bit frustrating. So that's when, on the first one, you have to have three for, for the player to actually get on the hidden block. And, that, and then, on, in the out of sight area, you could add like a cloud block hidden area coins. Look, it even is animated. In the Money Heaven area, you can make it to another place. You could actually make one of the pipes able to go through. And you can choose horizontal or vertical. And yet, you can make it a different style as well. You can have a bonus room in, in, a, in a, you can have a bonus room in a secret area in your course. It'd be pretty cool. And I bet you, it leading to an underground style theme will not change the other theme. You can basically add 50 of a coin and you can also spread some real coins in there as well as 50 coins. Cause placing down coins is really infinite when you but covering your whole entire course, course with coins will just make it a little too not good. But at least a bonus room full of coins is good. <coughs> now, when you play it from the start, you can see what Mario, what, there's even more coins. Or you can add a secret area. That's not just a room with coins. It's up to your choice, but I am. And then, if you want to make, if you want to make it just like this, then you can. Cause the thing is, cause on here you can just play it, and then you can actually see what you did. Cause of course, you go out. Next, you'll continue, and what I'm going to do is the entire stage you'll have to find the five pink coins to unlock a secret room this money galore place is actually not that secret you can add this the secret five coins pink coins if you like there co you could have a whole other place just think about it at the very end of the level you could include stuff like you could include a locked door and then when you place it it'll have two doors <laughs> then choose the third option now it'll say you need a key and the only way to get that key is to find all five hidden pink coins i'll have my second one in a seep in a in a easy to find area. So you have to wall jump and then get the pink coin. Using the gimmicks, you can actually use that to get the pink coins. Yeah, I bet a lot of people will have more fun the longer the course and the f more fun it is. I don't want it to be too easy or too hard either. But I bet you if you added another set, I bet you, so that is a shame, but oh well. At least you can hide five pink coins. Another thing is you want to use gizmos. You don't want it to be terror. You want it to be fun. And so, if you want to have a bill blaster, 
you want to add a bill blaster, you can. But you could actually extend it and make a trickier puzzle. If you put this conveyor belt, if you do it like this, then if you add the hidden feature, then people will more look at the hidden feature. I'm gonna add a Cooper the Quick. You'll need doors. And of course, at the very end, you'll need a key door. And you'll wanna make it in an out of sight area. And what I'm gonna, and what you need to use is clouds. And you unlock this bonus area. So you'll be rewarded with this big area with it basically be having coins and if you just want to exit you just jump out but if you don't want that to happen just replace the sides with blocks and uh, when i said you could copy you can do that with pretty much anything in your course and so the only way to leave is to enter back through the key door you also need to direct the player for, with arrows. If you want to make it clear, you have to go up. You can direct them to all five purple coins. It'd be cool. But if you do go up, then remember the bonus. This is probably your first pink coin. Then you'll go on to the second pink coin. Then to get this, you have to wall jump and onto here. You have to wall jump here and fall down here. Then you have the key. And then what you do is you avoid the bullet blasters and you race Cooper the quick. I'm gonna see if when you do race Coop the Quick. Okay, that's me, and now I'm going to show you the full course, then you complete it. Now let's get with uploading the course. You have to save the course as, then you have to find an available slot. I'm just gonna put in the description, and then other users worldwide could actually play your level and you could become very popular obviously i've only had three plays but if you check my other levels they've got lots of plays but i've turned comments off because i don't want comments no one's allowed to comment all because of that one mean comment that they said boo 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 that's probably say like saying something to liverpool and one of these players have set a world record. I want to say the time that I've set the world record. And this is one of my levels. And, and I'm just basically, I'm not getting distracted. I'm showing you how my levels have improved so much. So let me just show you what happens. You get teleported here. Basically what you have to do is you have to go to the end of the level and you have to get the checkpoint up here. <laughs>
don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see you in the next video bye bye